Welcome back to the channel, Muscle Wagon RT here with another unboxing. This one is for UPR adjustable uh, end links for uh, 2005 through uh, this one on the website, on the eBay website, which I purchased this from, says it's uh, 2005 to 21, 2021 um or 2017 so uh this fits uh dodge magnum 300 and charger um there is the product the part number and the um the website i guess okay so uh the reason why i purchased these is because I lowered the car um, I haven't uploaded those videos just yet in the making of this particular video um, uh, I do want to do some editing editing and once that's done uh, I will upload the uh, guard speed um, my review of the guard speed um, install that I did I didn't really do a video for the install itself because it, it took me too long. I did run into some issues. Um, I plan to do my review. Um, and I did upload a guard speed uh, unboxing, which was my very first video. Even though I have a whole bunch to upload. I have so much stuff right now, you guys, that are... Uh, content that I recorded and I didn't upload just yet. Uh, I have almost a year's worth of videos ready to read this has to be edited and uploaded. But anyway, I'm rambling on here. <clears throat> Let's get to the reason why we are here today. Um, so, like I said, uh, these UPRs, the UPR product that I purchased is supposed to be a um, um, aluminum 70-75 um, grade uh, I'm trying to think of the, the proper terminology for it but anyway I put it in the descriptions so you can see what the manufacturer says about that product the strength of it and uh, the reason why they use a certain amount of strength. Um, and uh, the reason why I purchased these adjustable end links instead of just getting any old end link, like I said, is because I did put coil over coil overs in the car. I dropped it about an inch, two inches, uh, which is not totally dramatic, but because I have the ability to go even lower, um, and these are for the front. You have to have the adjustability. Uh, so when the guys are at the shop doing your wheel alignment, they can, everything can be in line. So for people who don't know, the end links go to your sway bar. It attaches to your, your um, struts in the front. Okay, so all that stuff is moving. So basically, um, when your car is in a turn, the sway bar helps to keep the car uh, from feeling like it's going to roll over or lean uh, to the right or to the left. Uh, sometimes you might feel like the car is um, uh, leaning extra in your turn. So that could be just your struts or it could be that your sway bar is worn out and you need something more heavy duty at some point because I am upgrading this car um, and I do plan to take it to like at least 600 horses uh, I'm upgrading everything and do yourself a favor don't put cheap parts on your magnums or your chargers or your 300s it's just gonna break them you're gonna spend more money so take the time out spend a better Spend the money on the better products. This way, you'll save money in the long run, so you don't have to keep buying 
parts because you broke them. I had to learn that the hard way. Anyway, like I said, let's get to this unboxing. Try to knock over the camera. Try not to knock over the camera while I'm doing this. No. I think I'm gonna have my my better half as my uh, camera girl, so she don't have to ask me stuff in the background. She'll be filming. So anyway, this is what they look like. You guys are the first to see it along with me. Uh, oh, these are really nice. So, all right. Judging by the picture, you can't really tell the high quality, but I'm really impressed. Um, your basic uh, end link does not look like this at all. These are really heavy duty. Um, the fact that they have uh, balls, the, the joint articulates like this, is really gonna help the car to um, be able to, uh, it's going to be smoother for sure. Um, there's nothing to grease. The only thing I am a little concerned about is the dirt getting inside after a while. Uh, I'm pretty sure they figured that out because you know it's going to get dirty. And then the rust. But I am very impressed. So, the reason why they're adjustable, if I can figure out how to open this one first, here it goes. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, you can't do this with your um, factory sway bar. Um, I will do the video on how to install these. I think that's very important. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking of when they go on. The only thing I don't see is instructions. The only reason why I'm saying about instructions too is, and I'll show you in half a second, because I'm verifying, yes, there's no instructions in the package, no instructions in the box. Uh, I could probably email them through eBay and ask for instructions. Uh, and the only reason why I'm saying about instructions is this piece here. This piece. Um, I'm just wondering if this is more like a washer for the holes that are there. I don't want to put these on wrong. Okay, I see it. And then this must go here. You know what I'm going to do before I install it? Since this is new to me. Oh, and it has a nylon washer. I mean a nylon nut, not washer. So for those of you who don't know, if you're new to doing cars, this is a nylon nut. The reason why they call it nylon nut 
is because it has a nylon inside insert inside and that's to help keep the nut from backing off later after you after you have installed it so this is very good um and like i'm saying that this the quality of this i'm really impressed this is well worth it so the price point is a hundred dollars uh, 90, 99 dollars uh, they're made by uh, UPR um, they uh, say that these are aircraft aluminum 7 70 75 uh, which is supposed to be very durable uh, they the way these are how thick they are these have to be really um, These might be the last end links I may ever have to buy. I mean, I don't see these wearing out no time soon. That's all I'm saying. I'm very impressed. Wow. Okay, guys. So I'm going to end this video now. Uh, I've got to do a little bit of research before I do the install. I just want to make sure that... Um, uh how to put them on correctly i may even email the the um upr directly i'll give them a phone call first before i install these um i just want to make sure that uh when i install them that this part here because it just goes into the ball joint like that and then it locks in on one side that I don't, I don't need to, and I don't see any washers with it. So I'm just a little concerned. That's all. Other than that, this so far looks like an excellent purchase. Just on material alone. They're very heavy duty. Um, they feel like they weigh at least almost five pounds each. That's how. Uh, heavy duty these things feel. All right, so it's a very good. Okay, guys. So this is the end of this video. Again, these are um, UPR adjustable uh, end links, uh, sway bar end links. They connect the um, your strut to your sway bar. For those of you who don't know, if you uh, plan to lower your car or if you uh, have lowered your car already and your uh, end links look like they don't fit right they're too long or maybe they're a little bit too short you get a pair of these this will um, uh, help you adjust you, you uh, help you to adjust <laughs> sorry help you to adjust your end links to fit uh, your car so um when i do the install video i will take them apart uh, uh compare the parts together the factory or whatever whatever i had put on uh, a couple years ago with the original uh coil original coil that i used sorry um uh, those are trash and i threw those out and i got the god speeds purchase the guard speed so all right guys uh this is it for this unboxing video this video went a little bit long sorry i talked so much uh if i bored you with um if i bored you at all uh, i'll get better but that's okay and see you in the next video